together where like your ear pops and you can like hear yourself breathe and talk and it is like the most annoying thing in the entire world. Yeah, I have that right now and I'm like, oh, I want to scream so bad, but it's not going to help anything, so I'm not going to, but like, <sighs> oh my god, it's the most annoying thing in the entire world. <sighs> like it just doesn't go away. And like, you know how some people do the thing where they like blow their nose, like they plug their nose and blow? It doesn't work for me, it just makes it worse, so it's like, <sighs> it's the most annoying thing ever. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with my most anticipated reads for March 2017. As always, I tried to pick books that not a lot of the big booktubers talk about, so... Um, again, it's usually psychological thrillers with me, so if you're into psychological thrillers, then stick around. If you're not, stick around anyways to hear me talk, because I'm funny most of the time. So without further ado, let us get started! <sighs> But the first book on my list is the one that I am the most excited about because it sounds so cool. It's called Something by Shelley Lamb and this is supposed to come out March 7th, 2017. This is a new adult book which is in the horror fantasy mystery genre. And like I've never heard of that so I'm like beyond excited about it. The book follows four teenagers and the story begins with a girl named Aubrey Golding and she was just dumped by the love of her life Nathan Silva and she finds a book called Something and she reads it and it basically unleashes this huge curse with devastating consequences and that's all the synopsis says. And like I'm so excited about it. Like, it sounds so dang cool. So that's my first on the list and I need it in my life. My second book is called Never Let You Go by Chevy Stevens and it is supposed to come out March 14th, 2017. This book follows Lindsay Nash who escaped an abusive relationship 11 years ago with her young daughter. Her, her ex-husband recently got out of jail and her new husband and her now teenage daughter are very threatened because their house was broken into and Lindsay believes that her ex-husband is the one responsible for it. So when she meets with him, he says that he's now a changed man but her guard is up. That's all the synopsis says. I'm kind of confused personally why you would even like go to your ex-husband and be like, yo, did you break into my house? Like if he's abusive, I would have been like, peace, run away, like I don't want to be anywhere near you. But apparently the logical thing to do is ask him if he broke into the house. So. It's apparently a psychological thriller. It sounds kind of interesting, so on my list. The third book on my list is called The Fall of Lisa Bello, and it is by Susan Parabo. Probably saying that wrong, but... It's supposed to come out on March 14th, 2017 as well. The book follows Meredith Oliver, who was a witness of a child abduction, her arch nemesis of the 8th grade, Lisa Bello, and she are held hostage by masked men in a sandwich shop one day. And when the man asks Lisa to come with him, Meredith is the girl left behind and basically it's the story of her living with that and how she's coping with it. I think that it sounds very interesting. I'm curious on like how the story is going to go forward and like if Lisa is found or if Lisa is like not found and I just think that it's going to be interesting so on my list. The fourth book on my list is called The Hidden Memory of Objects. This book is by Daniel Magus Amoto and it is supposed to come out March 21st, 2017. This book follows Megan Brown whose brother Tyler is dead. The police are saying that he overdosed and it might possibly be a suicide. Megan believes that her brother would never do this and so she turns to the objects that he left behind in his room and this is where she discovers that she has an ability where she can touch an object and see the memories that are attached to it. And this is when she uncovers a whole bunch of things she didn't know about her brother. And I'm assuming about his death, but you know, I'd have to read the book to know that. I just think that it sounds really cool and I think that the whole like touching objects things and seeing memories would be such a cool like ability to have so you know your girl's interested in it. So, it's on my list. The fifth book on my list is called Dead Little Mean Girl and it is by Eva Daros. And this book is supposed to come out March 28th, 2017. And, and I'm just gonna like read the little tagline to you guys because I think that it sounds funny and also really cool. So, here we go. It says, Quinn Littleton was a mean girl, a skinny blonde social terrorist in stilettos. She was everything Emma McLaurin hated until she died. I honestly just think that it sounds like Mean Girls, the movie with Lindsay Lohan. And I love that movie. It is such trash and it is just perfection and I just think this book could be funny. So, it's on the list. My sixth and final book on this list is Follow Me Down by Sherry Smith and this is supposed to come out on March 28th, 2017 as well. Many years after leaving North Dakota, Mia Haas receives a phone call from the police saying that her twin brother is missing and that he is a suspect in a teenage murder case. 
Trying to clear his name, Mia starts to discover things and she realizes that if he was so innocent, why did he flee? And that's basically all the synopsis says. So I think that it would be really interesting. I think it's going to be super like psychological mess with your head kind of thing. So I'm excited about it. I want to read it and I want to know if the brother actually killed the girl or not. I want to know. Alright guys, so those were the six books that I'm most anticipating for March 2017. Probably not going to read any of them because like I say, every most anticipated video, your girl cheap and waits years until she reads the popular books. So, let me know down below if you guys are excited for any of these or what you're excited for and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!